Hello everybody. In this video we are going to show how to integrate the BACnet web services running on a Dingo device with the popular analytics and monitoring platform called Grafana. We have created a data source plugin for Grafana which can read data from the BACnet web services on a Dingo device. So for this demonstration I have installed a Grafana server and added our Go IoT BACnet web service data source as a plugin into Grafana. I'm going to start by logging into Grafana. Then I go to data sources and add a new data source. I choose BACnet web services from type, which is the data source plugin that we have added to Grafana. I'm going to give my data source the name BACnet Web Services and then the IP address of the Dingo device on my network that contains data that I'm interested in. I'm going to add the URL that specifies where the BACnet Web Services are located and choose Direct as the access method. Then I click Add to create this instance of the BACnet Web Service data source. Then I create a new dashboard for my Dingo device and choose the graph panel to start with. It displays as default a sample graph, so I'm going to edit this graph. I choose the data source we just created and then we select a time series to work with. The data source will find all trend logs on the Dingo device that it is communicating with. Now, our Dingo device has one trend log that logs values from a temperature sensor here in the office. And it is the object identifier of that log that now pops up in this field. So I'm going to choose that log. And as we see, the graph changes with values that come from the selected BACnet trend log. Then I go under General and give this panel a name. I'm going to close the editor for the graph panel and edit the settings for the graph for the dashboard itself. I'm going to give it a name. The graph shows the temperature values for the last six hours. This can be changed by clicking on the range indicator and choosing another value. We can also specify an automatic refresh of the panels. The BACnet trend log that I'm reading from logs the temperature values every minute. So refreshing the Grafana dashboard at a frequency of one minute would give us the newest values right away. Now let us make another panel on this dashboard. I'm going to choose the single state panel because I want to see the current temperature within the office. So I'm going to start by saying that I want to see the current temperature. I want to present this as a gauge and I'm interested in seeing some threshold values. The first threshold should be 21 and the second 26. And I want to see these thresholds on the gauge as well. Now I'm going to change the colors for these thresholds so that temperatures up to 21 should be should be presented in a blue area and those from 21 to 26 should be shown in a green area and those those above 26 should be shown in a red area and then we see a gauge here showing the current temperature so that is it we have Grafana using the Go IoT BACnet web service data source 
that is reading data from the BACnet trend logs via the BACnet web services running on a Dingo device. I hope you learned something from this video. Goodbye for now.